Next into the tank is a product to keep your smallest valuables safe. Hey Sharks, I'm Laren Lockwood and I'm from Burnett, Texas. I'm here seeking $150,000 in exchange for 15% equity in my company, Lion Latch. Sharks, some of our most valuable and sentimental possessions in life happen to also be some of the easiest to lose. Let's say for example, your wedding ring. Help, <laughs> I lost my wedding ring and I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> Look at poor Maggie, she's lost her ring and she searched her bags, the dirty laundry, and now she's resorted to dumpster diving in the trash in search for her precious ring. Maggie, all of this could have been avoided if you just had a lion latch. What's a lion latch? Only the best thing ever. A small, secure container to safely store your items. So whatever goes into this little cutie, you can rest assured nothing is getting out. Try it for yourself. Simply place your ring inside the container. Slide the lid on over the stem and lock into place with the carabiner ring by sliding it through that little hole at the top of the stem. Lion Latch helps you store your beloved items safely and securely. You never have to panic again. So Sharks, who's ready to lock in a deal with Lion Latch and say goodbye to losing the small valuables you love? Thanks for the Lion Latch, Laren. See you, Sharks. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> What's to uh, stop you from losing the lion latch? Great question, Barbara. I actually made this so you could attach it to your keys, and then you can keep it in your purse or your backpack, your gym bag. Your rings aren't just floating around in your bag. Mr. Wonderful, what you got in there? Did you get I, it open? I, are these hearing aids? They are. <laughs> Thank you. I've been waiting 13 seasons to give those to you. Why He's do out. I need these? Ooh. Oh, for your listening skills. Thank you. Yes, Whoa. you're welcome. It really endears me to you. I'm just. It's going to help you get a deal with me, not. Okay. <laughs> so tell me, how did you come up with this idea? I am a teacher and a coach, and I was newly engaged, and I was coaching softball. And despite the fact my athletes have to take off their jewelry for athletics, I thought I was an exception to the rule. I never wanted to take this ring off. And I caught a ball and it flattened my engagement ring into my finger. Wow. And then it knocked out a diamond and I didn't Ooh. find the diamond. Everyone has some kind of lost jewelry story. And so this dumpster reenactment is a story that I get very frequently. I originally 3D printed this for myself and then other teachers and coaches and my student athletes wanted one. Well, it was gonna be $30 to 3D print one for everyone. So why not manufacture it? So have you sold any of them? I've done 530,000. What? To date, yes. And that's over what period of time? Uh, five years. Okay, okay. what have you sold in the last 12 months? In the last 12 months, I've done, let's see, last year I did 230K and I grossed 54. Netted, you netted yes. 54. Yes, I netted 54, yes sir. And how and much then, did you put into the business to begin with? I didn't put any of my own money in it, actually. So you own 100% of this product. I do! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, that's, a Texas, that's Texas proud right there. Are you still working your job or I'm are actually, you just doing this? I made the tough decision this year to resign from teaching. What do you charge for one of these things? Wholesale for five, retail for 10. And what does it cost you to make one? About a buck 50. Buck 50? Wow. Yes. Okay. But I've had such a struggle with manufacturers, y'all. I've had three different manufacturers. They couldn't keep up with the demand. My family and my friends were driving to Dallas to pick up product and bring it home to me as I'm packing the orders. Why? The reason I didn't have them putting it directly in a package and shipping is because I needed it to come to me so I could do a second round of quality control. That's crazy. That's why I'm here. You're personally packing one product at a time. Yes, I'm still doing that. I don't How understand. are you possibly gonna scale if you have have to sleep seven hours a day. <laughs> I quit teaching. Kevin, you're missing this part. I did all that full-time no, teaching. No, I got the quit teaching. I just gave needs full -time hearing teaching. aids. I'm full-time. Put those in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's got to love you. <laughs> so it sounds like you need to hire somebody to solve all these problems for you. I just want to give you money. Yes. And I want you to go take it. And turn it into your, more, right? And then I get more money. This is a struggle, though, for all women that wear rings, but it can be used for money, right? Mr. Wonderful, money, okay? I got it. Right? <laughs> not, not, not just rings, it. it's earrings. So if you're I, getting your nails done, you gotta take off your rings. Don't just drop them in your purse. Are you going to work out? 
Don't just leave it no, on the floor. No, I'm not. People, I'm I know going you're to not. say sorry, to I was you. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm sorry. I'm out. I'm Look, so sorry. Loren, what you've accomplished is amazing. Thank you. But I just don't see this becoming the 10, 20, 50 million dollar in sale business. And unfortunately, for that reason, I'm out. Look, I, I actually really admire your tenacity. I think you come on and completely lit this stage up. I'm not that interested in this on its own, and so I think for that reason, I'm out. Thank you, Emma. You know what? Your only problem is you don't have good manufacturing. Correct. Not good enough. You need a manufacturer that you can rely on, and there's plenty of factories out there that need work. But. It's not really an investable business for me, I don't think, but it can be a great one for you and you only have to solve one problem. And you can do it. You will do it. So, I'm sorry to say I wish you the best, but I'm out. Thank you, Lori. Well, I, I just want you to know, I've been working on this for five years, you know? The blood, sweat, and You're tears. Tired. Teaching all day, coming home, trying to spend some time with my family, and then staying up late and packing orders. And I really came here with the hopes that y'all would help me. As I'm watching you, you're like a dog on a bone. You can hang on that bone, keep coming back, keep coming back. Uh, that's a rare quality, and it says to me you should be an entrepreneur. Thank you. But your business is too small. I'm sorry, but I'm but I'm out. We wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye all. Thank you. I expected to get a deal, so I'm a little sad about that. But my plan is to go back home and get to work.